everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Samiha Derja and I post video tutorials on Scratch, so please do consider subscribing. Today I'm here with a very short and simple math tutorial. We'll be creating the Fibonacci series, so let's go. Okay, so first let's see what a Fibonacci sequence is. So, um, the Fibonacci sequence is a series of numbers starting from 0 and 1. So the next number is found by adding the two numbers before it. For example, the 2 is found by adding the two numbers before it, which is the 1 and 1 here. The 3 here is found by adding the 2 and 1, the numbers before it. Similarly, 34 is found by adding 21 and 13. Okay, great. Now, let's see what Wikipedia has to say. So, in mathematics, Fibonacci numbers, commonly denoted as Fn, form a sequence called the Fibonacci sequence, such that the number is the sum of two preceding ones, so it's basically the same thing. So, we're starting with 0 and 1. Under some older definitions, the value 0 is omitted, so they start with 1 and 1. And the formula for this is Fn equals to Fn minus 1 plus Fn minus 2. For example, we want to know the third number. So the number minus 1, which is our second number, and number minus 2. So it's the sum of those ones. For n is greater than 1. This is if we start with 0, n has to be greater than 1. If we start with 1, n has to be greater than 2. Now let's go to scratch and code. Okay, so here I've deleted the original sprite because we don't need it. We're going to do the code in the backdrop. And here I have a custom backdrop, which is not needed. Um, so here, one green flag clicked. I'm going to make a list. I'm going to name it Fibo, so this will store our numbers. Okay, so we're going to delete all of Fibo and we'll add two numbers, 0 and 1, the initial numbers. Just going to make it make this a bit bigger. That looks good. And here I'm going to make a variable input. We don't need to show it on the screen and we're going to set input to zero. And from control, I'm going to get a repeat until loop. So coming here, this says for n is greater than one. So coming back to scratch now, we're going to check if input, which is n, is greater than two because scratch lists are based on one, so they start with one. So I'm going to come here, input is greater than two. We are going to ask a question and wait. So I'm going to ask how many Fibonacci numbers do you want? And in brackets, I've just put greater than two. And we'll set input to answer. Okay, and now I'm going to get a repeat 10 loop. So instead of repeating 10 times, we're going to repeat input minus two because we already have the first two numbers. So minus input minus two. Here I'm going to make a variable n. And we will set n. Um, first I'm going to hide it. So we're going to set n to length of Fibo plus 1. So every time, a, every time you know, an, a value is added to Fibo, um, the n also increments by 1. So length of Fibo, an addition operator, length of Fibo plus 1. And now we're going to add the item n minus 1 of Fibo plus n plus item n minus 2 of Fibo to Fibo. So coming here, so here it says Fn equals to Fn minus 1 plus Fn minus 2. So we're going to do this in Scratch. Add. Here I'm going to get item subtraction operator. From variables, we're going to get n. So item n minus 1. Let's duplicate this n minus 2 and an addition operator. So item n minus 1 plus item n minus 2. Okay, so now let's test this out. 
plus 0 and 1 have been added to our list and it asks a question. Mm, so if I enter 1, it will ask again because it's not greater than 2. So I'm going to say 5. And great, we have the first 5 numbers of the sequence in our list. And now let's see, a bigger number, 65. Okay, the length of 65, we have the 65 numbers of the sequence. Wow, that's great. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comment section down below. Leave a huge like, subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. Bye bye.